On February 17, the guided missile destroyer USS Barry departed from Yokosuka, Japan, capping off a six-year deployment in the Indo-Pacific region. The U.S. 7th Fleet announced the departure of the warship from Tokyo Bay in a news release on Friday. The U.S. 7th Fleet said the Barry would sail towards its new home port, Naval Station Everett, Washington, where it is slated for routine maintenance. Captain Walt Maynard, commander of Destroyer Squadron 15 and Carrier Task Force 71, stated that Barry and her crew kept guard in the Western Pacific for almost seven years. Maynard continued that the vessel leaves an outstanding legacy of being the Navy's oldest destroyer that completed the task, held the line, and consistently delivered incredible firepower. In March 2016, the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer made its way to Japan and began patrolling alongside the Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group. The vessel served in the region, while assigned to Commander, Task Force CTF-71 Destroyer Squadron Desrin-15, the Navy's largest forward deployed Desrin and the 7th Fleet's principal surface force. The 7th Fleet, the largest forward deployed numbered fleet in the U.S. Navy, frequently collaborates and engages with allies and partners to maintain an open and free Indo-Pacific. During its deployment in the Indo-Pacific, the Barry took part in seven multinational exercises, traveled to 12 foreign ports, and covered approximately 3.8 million miles at sea, according to the news release. Also, the vessel collaborated with allies and partners from Japan, South Korea, India, Australia, New Zealand, Singapore, Great Britain, and the Philippines to promote a free and open Indo-Pacific. Nevertheless, the ship has started its 17-day journey to the United States. The USS Shoup, which joined the 7th Fleet in December, takes over the duties of the Barry. It is the 5th Flight IIA destroyer in Destroyer Squadron 15 and can accommodate two Mega Henry's 60 Seahawk helicopters. According to the U.S. Navy, the Indo-Pacific region's security climate necessitates stationing its most capable ships there. The U.S. Navy's most powerful ships with the most striking power and operating capability are deployed in this posture, allowing maritime and joint forces to respond quickly. The U.S. Air Force has lately adopted a similar strategy whereby the service withdraws outmoded defense equipment from Japan and deploys more powerful, cutting-edge weaponry. 